So a typical house is a bearing wall type of house, which means solid walls hold up the roof. So you can have little openings, doorways, and so on. Everybody will recognize this. That's a typical house. An Eichler is post and beam construction. So instead of walls, you have frames. And that means all this space is free. And when you look at it in elevation, it means you no longer have these little pokey openings like in a conventional house. But all this can be glass. And that's what makes an Eichler different. The Eichlers are like living in a piece of art. It blends the shelter on the inside with the serenity of nature on the outside. But it's not just an art form, it's not just a painting on a wall, it's an environment that you exist in. I wouldn't describe it, I would say come and experience it, because you'll fall in love. The design is meant for people to relax. It calms you down, it takes off the edge when you walk in. There are no outside windows generally. You're there with nature, and nature is just so, so powerful. It just... That was the difference, is yeah. that you, you know, this whole house is, is really the yard, so it's a 7,000 square foot house. I mean, you see every inch of the property and you use it from inside and out. I think that was one of the amazing things about how Eichler created these neighborhoods, because you can enter just about any house in this neighborhood and walk into the backyard and feel like you're in a private paradise. There's that old-fashioned kind of Midwestern sort of a feel to this neighborhood. We know everybody all the way down the street, all the way, all the, these different directions. Um, in San Francisco, you have big windows that look out on your neighbors' houses, but you don't know your neighbors. Here we have no windows that look out at our neighbors, yet we know all of them. I took one look at the Eichler, I took one look at the Lucas Valley Hills, and that was it. <laughs> no more Berkeley. <laughs> I mean, no one built that many quality modern houses in American uh, middle-class housing. He, he stands alone. But in my experience, the so-called cult or whatever, this I'm a better person because I have an Eichler home or whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. that, that to me, you know, evolved. I mean, did you have any idea that it was something special? I, looking back on it, I remember it fondly. It was a nice environment, it was a nice, nice house. There was more of that open sense, more glass, more things to look at. You know, and Eichlers are the iPods and iPhones of the, of the day. Um, Eichler put it all together. You know, he knew an architect here that he had seen in magazines. He had experienced architecture through Frank Lloyd Wright. He knew about marketing. He hired the best marketing people. He knew how to manage talent, and that's what makes it work.